Hey dudes, so I'm going to make a couple videos today. The first one is about just people being mean pointlessly online, which is something we all encountered. But I got this meme on Instagram I, re I responded to, we left a comment. It says, when you finally get comfortable in bed and your girl girlfriend asks you to turn the fan on, get her some water, a snack, and rub her back. And I commented clearly as a joke, uh, betas, I'm rolling around in my farts right now. And like, obviously that's not to be taken seriously and the comments that I the replies to my comment took it like literally like I was trying to make a case for that or something and it was um the first one was like your your parents are related um then there's a few other ones and the one that just got to me like I've been getting notifications on this for like two weeks this is probably why I'm gonna not go on Instagram to comment anymore I'm probably just going to maybe not even go on Instagram because people don't understand like it's so politicized like everyone thinks you're trying to make some kind of political statement with just offhand remarks now and then they try to look at your picture and get these very fine-tuned personal insults just out of nowhere and the last one was um that's why you're that's why you're alone or that's why you're lonely you beardless incel and then there's an there's another word another insult in there but the beardless caught me off guard like beard has every beard is to do with genetics like there's some kind of weird thing like this is kind of this is what bothered me because i've i was trying to grow a beard for a while and i can grow a little bit of like i can like to here and that it does connect like it just it doesn't look good it doesn't suit my face and i get a little bit of a goatee so i'm, I'm just going to I don't know why I'm even talking about this, but beardless, like it's genetic. It, like obviously you need testosterone to um, grow a beard. Like that's that's what triggers it, but it's genetics. It's like it's how your hair f follicles are. Um, and like my testosterone is normal. It almost like there's this narrative that people who get out and do more grow a beard just miraculously but there's people that are that'll never grow a beard ever and are like 50 years old and like i know people that worked at, on oil rigs and they're 40 now and they can't grow a beard i know heavy duty mechanics who can't grow a beard so it's it's a weird it's a weird insult and then the incel thing i literally got a text from my ex-girlfriend who broke up with me months ago i just wanted to say hi so she's her, the door is open to get back with my ex and i'm choosing not to do it because it was a toxic relationship so the beardless thing is kind of crazy the the incel thing isn't true and why would they even go into like just attacking my appearance from like a joke like i wasn't trying to make a political statement with this i was just trying to be a little bit silly and just i don't know why everyone is it's almost like everyone is in two different states of consciousness and there's no one that can just say something without having it um, dissected so many times <clears throat> psychologically and then they find a way that it goes against them and then they make make a comment about them I think social media has really killed people to be honest and I'm obviously a bit of a hypocrite because I'm analyzing this deeply and i'm i'm posting it to youtube um but i can't change the way that society is and i've always been kind of trying to do that devil av advocate type stuff like i'll be talking to like someone who's right wing and i'll be like countering them with left wing things and then i'll be talking to someone on the left and i'll counter them with right wing things like i'm always trying to get people to kind of try to think that maybe they're not always right and I think that's um, something you can't do. You can't go against the grain too much. And I, I feel like things are all online now and dating's on the apps and, and people are doing these e-commerce business, um, businesses. People are scrolling on their breaks on the phone. Like it's, there. there's that whole like dumb phone movement where people are now going back to flip phones like the Motorola Razr. But I don't think I could do that honestly because... I want to take pictures. I want to share the pictures with my family. Um, I want to do my YouTube videos. I kind of want to get a bit of um, knowledge about e-commerce because that's this is where careers are going to. This is where money is as well. So I don't think it's going to be possible. It would be nice to just have a time travel where we could go back where everyone's in like a horse and carriage and 
and I don't, I don't that's probably there's a million problems there you'd probably get like a tooth cavity and die back then so maybe that's crazy to say but just the vicious targeted insults on on instagram and maybe people posting uh commenting on on this video will say oh well you're out of line for commenting the fart joke but like there's even more tame examples than that like you just literally like say just anything and you'll be annihilated in the in the comments by somebody and then there's a whole ratio thing where like if you just say like something just very tame or a very salute tame thing but they're in like a kind of tribal group where they're they're very dedicated to one thing and they're kind of all tunnel vision and all um like together like the the expression about the birds and the feather flock together or whatever birds of the same feather and you're kind of the outsider so they're not going to even entertain anything that you say even if it's rational or if it's just a joke or anything there there is times where you can say something crazy and you get so many likes and so many um positive feedback too and like so you can look at that too like but it, it's just weird i'm just focusing on this video about the negative and that's probably a bad thing to do just but it did trigger me a bit the comment because it was so unnecessary and i don't know why they thought that it was serious and then the whole inbred comments and all that kind of thing um but yeah, it was, it was interesting to see. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to make another couple videos about um, just my, my vlog kind of thing. I have a couple um, updates in life and I have another kind of like political type thing I want to make as well. So like and subscribe if you like these videos. I appreciate it and uh, God bless. Peace out.